So, Kotomi, you are one of Kantar's employer brand experts. What is your advice for those who want to attract more competence next year? I would encourage you to learn more about people who already are on their profession journey, so people with job experience. And there is a great potential for employers to know more about their key target groups. And generally, uh, companies also need to challenge their insights on what senior people value at work. So uh, look at com competence above 50 years of age. And even if you are employed at 60, 62, um, you may work another three years or more. So, uh, and that is a great contribution. Matthias, where do you see the greatest potential in employer brand communication in 2023? Uh, well, I would have to say that there is still a lot of potential for employers to work even more with their existing employees in their uh, brand building and really utilizing their voices in the communication. Uh, I think we all know and hear all, all the time that there's a lot of buzz around employee advocacy right now. And this is also something that we heard at the World Employer Branding Days conference in Lisbon in October, where there were several companies sharing really good stories on how they are building up structures and new behaviors in the organization to support their employees to share stories uh, on the job experience, really, what it's like to work at these organizations in different channels. Uh, and uh, I mean, as a brand building company, we really know the importance of connecting with people's emotions in the communication to build brands, whether it's a customer brand or an employer brand. And uh, this is really where the authentic stories come in. Stories from the workplace shared by the very people who work there. And that is a really powerful opportunity going forward. Thank you. So happy holidays from Kantar. <laughs>